the Ninja Sara shirt is back. Hi guys, I am here today to do a mini, 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 mini review. I think it's going to be many, many of uh, random acts of crazy bite. Julia Kent. Why such a mini review, you may ask? Because I didn't finish it, and I don't feel like I have enough elements to actually give like a full length review. So it's mainly just the reasons why I couldn't continue with the story. Here I go. The story is about 22 year old Darla, who is just driving down the street, down the road, down, what? I was driving around at night and then sees this random stranger asking for a lift and he's completely naked, uh, apart from just a guitar to cover his manhood, his penis. And she offers him a ride and that's where our story starts. I thought it was going to be like a very funny, random story. I mean, it's called Random Max of Crazy. So I was expecting a really funny, light, sort of bubbly, funny, funny, funny read. And I didn't really get that. I was about 10% into the story and things were going good. But then it just, no, 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 no. And it all just went downhill from there. One of the main reasons why this happened is because of the writing style. It's one of those all over the place kind of choppy and uh, even annoying kind of writing style. Darla has a sort of mind where she thinks like <laughs> Darla has a sort of mind where she thinks like a billion thoughts per minute. <laughs> to the point where it felt like I was reading like everything she was thinking to actually reading nothing because none of it made sense and it was just all over the place. And in the beginning it was funny, you know, like she was just so all over the place and thinking a billion thoughts per minute, I'm saying the same things over and over again. It was sort of funny and I mean, it was like, okay, you're crazy and you're, you're on crack, but you're funny. But the sort of funny rainy style just kept going on and on and on and on until it was just choppy and it was like, stop, stop it. You know that feeling when someone's trying too hard to be funny? Yeah, that happened. Stop, because you're trying way too hard. Now, apart from the writing style, the other thing that bothered me is this. So there's the random stranger she picked up, but it turns out he's not that random. He is Trevor something who is a rock star. She picked up a rock star, a naked rock star, that covered his penis with a guitar. And Trevor is slightly intoxicated, or in Darla's words, he was as high as a kite. And I'm not exactly sure how things happened because the writing style was distracting, but uh, he somehow it's really turned on by her and he wants to have sex with her. And Darla's like, yeah, I also want to have sex with you, but not exactly because I want to, but because I cannot believe you want to have sex with me because I am so ugly and chubby and nobody wants me. Call me crazy, but I just personally don't think that random sex that comes from your insecurities is just took that much of a good idea, you know? I'm just saying. First of all, he acted like a bit of a douchebag. And at first she didn't know he was Trevor something, the rock star. She just saw him as random naked hot stranger with a guitar that covered his penis. And she thought he was so hot and this and that. But he was still a bit douchebaggy for my taste. And she still wanted to jump his bones. So when he agrees, she's all happy and like, yeah, I can't believe he wants to have sex with me. And weird stuff happens and they somehow turn out to be kind of doing it in the woods. I'm not sure how that goes. And here comes my problem. What amount of little self-worth do you have to have to actually sleep with a guy like that? A person that's clearly high as a kite that was just wandering around naked around the streets because of God knows what that could have all sorts of STDs and I don't know why because I don't remember them mentioning a condom. I mean, he was naked and she wasn't exactly prepared. She was on the pill, maybe? But still, STDs, please, someone act like a responsible 22 year old. And just all of her thoughts made me think that, Jesus Christ, you have such low self-esteem and so little self-worth that you're willing to put yourself at risk because someone wants to have sex with you. Yeah. 
I mean, he can be as much of a rock star as he wants, but maybe he's a weird rock star. One of those that like to murder people in the woods at night. It can happen. Let me kill you in the woods. And I get the low self-esteem thing because I think everyone's been there, done that eventually, you know, feeling down and not having that much self-worth. But what Darla did just seemed highly disrespectful to herself. And I was like, mm, no. You don't do that to yourself. You don't treat yourself nearly as shitty as you did. And the way the book is done, it sort of like downplays it and just makes it seem like all random fun and stuff. Blah, 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 blah. But I just felt like Darla really had absolutely no respect for herself. Now, I just want to say again that I did not finish with this novel, so I don't know if Darla grew or developed as a character. Maybe towards the end she had built up her confidence and she was a strong female leading character, or I don't know, that took control of her sexual sexuality in a very responsible way. And also in other reviews they mentioned this very dramatic twist and turn of events towards the middle, but I didn't make it to that point as well, um, so maybe it's very surprising, maybe, I don't know. I simply could not bring myself to keep reading due to the points I just previously mentioned. I really tried to push myself to read more into the story, but I was getting annoyed, I was frustrated, and I was just like, what is this? So I decided it was not really worth my time and effort, and I just left it at that. Oh, and there's also the fact that the author called vaginas and penises names like I would have never imagined they could have. You know, like Lady Parts and Down There and the Hoo Ha. The Who and the Ha. That's the point where I just. No more. No more. Hoo Ha. I mean, who comes up with stuff like that? It's just like. <laughs> Did not finish. If any of you guys have read it, let me know if it got better, if you liked it, or if you disliked it, just let me know so I can know. Yeah. And, well, that's it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!